welcome back to the channel entertainment reviews and today i'm going to be unboxing a package from the disney movie club i just received this package in the mail today from the disney movie club pretty sure i already know what's inside there should be Three movies in here, two of them being my feature title for the month of March. So let me go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. The first item in the packaging is Mary Poppins Returns 4K Ultimate Collector's Edition. Now, I've never even seen the original Mary Poppins, but when I saw the advertisement for this, I knew I had to have it. Sadly, when I called to reserve my copy for the feature title of this month, it did not tell me that this was a 4K Ultra HD, so I'm not actually sure if I'll be able to watch it or not. I do not own a 4K TV, so hopefully I'll be able to watch this. If not, we go ahead and just call them. Let them know that they sent me a 4K and I don't have a 4K player. And see if there's any way they can send me a Blu-ray copy of this and I send this one back. I'm excited to check this out. I've never seen the original, but this one does look interesting. Definitely can't wait to see it. I really love the slipcover. Birds are embossed. You got Mary Poppins right there. There's a look at the spine. Here's a look at the back. Go ahead and pause if you want to read the description and the bonus features. I'm not going to open this up because I'm not really sure if I'll be able to use this on my PS4. So I'm not going to open it up. I'm going to call Disney so I can get a Blu-ray sent and return this one. Go ahead and move on to the other movie I got with this bundle. Also with the 4K Ultra HD release of Mary Poppins, I received this limited edition lithograph actually embossed. Now because I haven't seen the movie yet. I do not know what this scene represents. I think it might have been in the trailer. But this is a really nice lithograph. I love that it's in a blue envelope. Unlike most lithographs that come in white. I'm really glad to add this to my lithograph collection. Like I said, I've never seen Mary Poppins. So when Disney asked me if I wanted to buy the bundle, which included the original, I was like, okay, sure. This will give me a chance to see part one and part two. Here it is, the Blu-ray 50th anniversary edition of Mary Poppins. The case is pretty simple. It's just a white background. Has Mary with her umbrella. Birds are big. Here's a look at the spine. Here's a look at the back with all the bonus features and descriptions. Go ahead and pause if you want to read that. Really, really glad to own this. Can't wait to watch it, see if it's any good. Go ahead and check it out tonight. Really glad to own this. Now if I can just get part two on Blu-ray, that way they match up on the shelf. And that is a look at Mary Poppins, the 50th anniversary Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Mary Poppins Returns, 4K Ultimate Collector's Edition. Definitely glad to add both of these to my collection. Can't wait to watch them. The last item I got in my Disney Movie Club package is this right here. This is an add-on. For $12.50, I was able to get Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea and Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginning in a two-movie collection on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Now, at first, I wasn't going to get this whenever I had the chance. The only one I wanted was the first movie. Link in the description to my unboxing of that. Disney asked me if I wanted to add a third movie to my bundle. For $12.50, I decided to go ahead and add this. That way I'll have all three Little Mermaid movies. Now, as a kid, I didn't really care for the sequels that much. I didn't really care for these two. But for $12, might as well complete the collection. And it should look great on the shelf when you have the original and the sequels together. Now this two movie collection is actually a Disney Movie Club exclusive as seen right there. I love the slipcover. It's nicely embossed. You got Ariel with her daughter Melody. You have some of her sisters, Sebastian and Flounder on the front. Here's a look at the spine. Here's a look at the back of the box. Go ahead and read the description. Screenshots from both movies. Here is a couple of bonus features. Go ahead and pause if you want to read them. 
And that's a look at Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea and Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginning. Like I said, they're not the best Disney sequels. But they are a lot better than most of the sequels like Return of Jafar, Belle's Magical World, Cinderella 2, etc. I think the only sequel out of these two enjoyable, even though I wasn't a big fan of them, is Part 2. Because I do like what they did with Ariel's daughter. Even though most of the movie just felt like a repeat of the first one. And that is a look at all three movies I got from the Disney Movie Club. I also received a couple of Disney pamphlets and Geico, along with some Ralph Breaks the Internet keyboard stickers, and an extra Ursula VIP membership pin, which I was not expecting to get. So if anybody has the Beauty and the Beast or Moana one and they would like to trade, I will gladly trade you for this Ursula one that I now have two of. Yeah, definitely let me know in the comments if you have a Beauty and the Beast or a Moana one you want to get rid of. Let me know in the comments below if you picked up Mary Poppins Returns on 4K, Blu-ray, or DVD, along with the Disney Movie Club exclusive Little Mermaid 2 slash Ariel's Beginning. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like what you've seen here today, Give this video a thumbs up, like, and share. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and ring that bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching. Till the next video, have a magical day, everybody. Bye, guys.